The U.S. president finished his trip just how it started, a non-political event away from the Chinese capital. In Shanghai, a city deeply ingrained in the well, history of bilateral the ties, uh, I was just Obama held a town hall-style meeting agree. with Chinese university students. The dialogue of questions and answers was a warm-up to his talks in Beijing. Adversaries is not predestined. Larger role in global events. It was the third formal meeting between President Hu Jintao and Barack Obama. They represent the interests of the world's largest developing and developed nations. China and the U.S. have enjoyed success in their cooperation over the past 30 years. Bilateral ties got off to a positive start after the U.S. president took office. And now they are finding more common ground. The China-U.S. relationship is very important. It's a shared responsibility for both China and the U.S. to preserve and promote the relationship. We are willing to work with the U.S. to ensure the steady, sound, and sustained growth of this relationship to the greater benefit of the two peoples and people throughout the world. Our relationship going forward will not be without disagreement or difficulty, but because of our cooperation, both the United States and China are more prosperous and secure. We've seen what's possible when we build upon our mutual interests and engage on the basis of equality and mutual respect. And I very much look forward to deepening that engagement and understanding during this trip and in the months and years to come. The two leaders issued a joint statement on Tuesday. In it, they agreed to deepen high-level exchanges to work closely for a complete and stable recovery of the world economy and to stay committed to resolving the nuclear issue on the Korean Peninsula. Obama reiterated his administration's adherence to the One China policy, which the country considers its core interest. On the more immediate task of climate change ahead of the next month's Copenhagen meeting, China and the U.S. promised to work together to tackle the problem. I believe such a statement gives a full expression to the principles of common but different responsibilities, outlining that China and the U.S. have totally different national conditions. They should take actions respectively according to realities on the ground.